Now, Ken, uh, one of the things that I thought was so interesting about this year's Derby on the backside was uh, the entrance of Rick Pitino on the backside. It was crazy back there. It was amazing how many people came back to see him this week. Pretty phenomenal, the crowd he drew when he was back on the backside on Wednesday morning. He, he uh, has his horse, Golden Sense, who actually in the early betting yesterday, about a million dollars, just over a million dollars bet into the Derby pool. And Golden Sense, after the early betting, is the favorite right now for Kentucky Derby 139. It has been a pretty magical spring for Rick Pitino. Will it continue today with Golden Sense winning the Kentucky Derby? It is good to be Rick Pitino. On April 8th, he was officially introduced as a member of the 2013 class of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. That night, his UofL team won the national championship, and now he is part owner of Kentucky Derby contender Golden Sense. Yeah, I'd be walking around looking for lightning to hit me, so uh, I'm, I'm just grateful for what I have in life. And, uh, Patino owns 5% of the horse. Three other owners account for the other 95%, but the attention is focused squarely on the card's coach. What are the other owners thinking of the guy who's got 5% getting all the attention? <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, it's kind of taken the pressure off of us. And if they want to stick the microphone in front of Coach, we're very comfortable with that. Uh, we're not uh, guys that are used to it. So we like when Coach gets the attention. Rick's Dallas. getting a lot of a lot of mileage out of 5%. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those poor, those poor guys that have the other 95, they wonder what happened. I think they, maybe they should redo the checkbook a little bit and see how that turned out. There's going to be a lot of people bet on that horse because Rick's on a roll, so now's, now's the time to get on the bandwagon when things are good. Will you get another tattoo if Golden Sense wins the Derby? No, I will not. Uh, uh, if we win another championship, I certainly will consider it. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of room for tattoos, so I, uh, uh, that'd be a good problem to have. I did tell Coach I'm ready for a Golden Sense tattoo after we uh, win the Derby, so. We'll uh, see how that goes. Patino's involvement is not the only great storyline involving Golden Sense, not even the only one with a U of L tie. Former Cards soccer and football player Jack Sisterson is the horse's assistant trainer, and he has a little something extra on the line in the Derby. His first work at Hollywood Park, I, uh, we were watching him. I called one of the part owners, and um, I called him said, This horse worked fantastic. He's going to win the Kentucky Derby. And he said, oh, stop, stop joking. I said, no, he'll win it. He said, well, if he wins it, I'm going to give you my Ferrari. So from day one, we thought we potentially had a Kentucky Derby horse. Hold on a minute now. So is, are you going to hold, is the guy really going to give you yeah, a Ferrari? Yeah, he is, yeah. So I've, I've got a lot at stake if he wins because uh, the Ferrari and a few other things online. I've been interviewed and I've at, they've asked me, are you the first owner that could win the Derby and lose a Ferrari? So I said, hey, my wife accuses me of just giving it to him so I can get a new one. But hey, that's another story. I think he's a lock. I think he'll win by 10. <laughs> you know, I, I, the way I look at the Derby is this. It's a horse race. You know, if this was a Preakness or a Belmont, I think you could handicap. The Kentucky Derby, I'm going to have, like I have had two Derby, going to have a great time. I've got a lot of friends in this business, like Suge McGahee and Todd Pletcher and, and, all, and a host of other guys who I root for all the time, have trained for me. I'm hoping my guy wins it, Golden Sense. And I'm hoping we have a great time, but I don't take it. Um, it's not a pressure situation with me. Rick Bettino will have fun out here today. Golden Sense, trained by Doug O'Neill, ridden by Kevin Krigger, trying to become the first African-American jockey to win the Kentucky Derby since 1902. Six career starts, four wins, one second, including an impressive win in the Santa Anita Derby last time out, and maybe the fastest horse in the field, Connie. And my question with him is, is can he get the distance? But of course, that's a question with all these horses. They've never run that far before. Sure, and Coach Petito mentioned Shug McGahee. They're friends. Uh, it is funny, though. There is a UK UofL robbery on the backside because Shug is a big UK fan. But he said he's so proud of Coach Petino and everything that he did this year. And this just in on that Ferrari. You know, yesterday, Dave Kenny joined me in the paddock and he said Jack Sisterson is backing off a little because he's not <laughs> sure he wants to pay the taxes and the insurance oh, nice. on that Ferrari. It is a 2004. <laughs> Ferrari uh, 360 Spider 
Formula One with 9,000 miles on it. So at a, I think it's, if you're going to buy one, even at that used to 2004, is going to run you in the $160,000 <laughs> range. So the insurance would be you a little expensive. You should at least get it and sell it, right? 69 <laughs> minutes to post for race number one of 13 here on Kentucky Derby Day. A rainy Kentucky Derby Day here at Churchill Downs. You know what? It's raining. You may not come out, but we are going to be here. We're here now, and we're going to be here all day live on Wave 3.